a meeting was held in July 15th for that confirmation uh, to the public. And then, um, secondly, another meeting was held in 5th and 6th of August, of which um, it is instructing the contractors to come and do, um, uh, what do you call it, inspection of site. So God, be, God being so good, tomorrow, um, as you've seen the itinerary, that's what brought us here. Um, Kumaru District Hospital, Tuesday, 10 September 2019 at 10 a.m. The Ministry of Health, Ministry of Finance, and then the NMS um, Construction Company Limited will be in Kumau to commence um, inspection and then construction. Mm. Um, already you, you, you've seen that our men have started clearing the site. We started uh, making sure that by the time that they come, we've been, um, we've been able to clear a significant portion of the what, area. What was the specific outcome of the audit that the Minister of Health uh, put up? I think it's clear that uh, we were constructing seven government hospitals at a cost of $175 million. And um, it's quite intriguing and it's quite uh, um, significant for us to point out that we were able to complete only Dodoa and then we left the rest. And then why is it that, the question that may, many Ghanaians are asking is that, why is it that we got a facility to $175 million and the project was, was able to, we were supposed to complete the project around 30 months, within 30 months, and we were not able to complete it. And when we came, there was nothing like uh, money left for us to complete this very project. And the evidence is clear. So that is why I'm saying, we let's strip up the politics of it, because at the end of the day, it will not help. Now that we've been able to call back the UKF, to come and assess the situation as i'm speaking the lc has expired the lc for the nms has expired so how come the previous government allowed the lc to expire and then they come did, out to say that the previous did, this current government did the audit uh, really indict anybody um let me say if you if you read the the, the audit report i believe that uh, it is clear that this 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 match was given to the contractors and this 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 is how far they were able to do clearly i i will not say that it was it is it, able to indict one or two people but what i know is that the government has taken the decision we've completed the forensic audit let's complete the project so that the, the audit did not indict anybody then do do you say that this was uh, uh just a waste of time please it is not a, a waste of time what i'm saying is that the audit the the contractors the 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 government of the day at the end of the day the forensic audit was able to establish whether we had value for money that is one two at the end of the day how much did we pump into this very project how much have you been paid here 175 million dollars a complete one of the hospital is is able to complete dodoa alone and then for Mena Kumeru, if you go to Garu Timpani, it's only 3%. So the government has taken a decision that let me find a facility to complete these three hospitals. And then we complete it. It's an express demand by the minority side of the Health Committee of Parliament that government takes an express decision on a return of the contractor to the sites at the Kumeru District Hospital. The chiefs and the people have cried a lot even as the health minister some three months ago said he was going to instruct the contractor to return to site in three ways that is yet to be done even as the chiefs and people are still unhappy with the decision by government to stall the project all in the name of a forensic audit to them the livelihood of the people will be enhanced greatly if this hospital sees a fullest construction Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Kumeu.